in the gut of Tenko, the celestial beast, was an organ called the Awakening Chamber, which can increase the star level of a celestial. That's basically how it works. Kosuke Ueki at two stars had to master steadiness or an unwavering spirit in order to attain the three star level. And he only had 24 hours to do it. It was a close call, but he managed to pass the test at 22 hours. Even I was impressed. Now you want to go for the four star test? Are you totally whacked? You're going to be digested in two hours. Huh? You've already started. Okay, you're on your own this time. I can't believe you're still around. But not for long. I'll see to it personally. Episode 15, The Law of Rinko. Rings into rockets. Fifty percent version. What is that? It's even bigger. I'll tell you why you were lucky enough to survive yesterday. Get this. I only use thirty percent of my total power on you, loser. Unwavering spirit, no matter what the situation. Steady. No way! How could he have skirted Dawn's punch like that and made it look so easy? You're getting better at one thing dodging attacks. But you can't win if all you do is avoid me. Power two, change rings into rockets. One hundred percent version. Your history, Ueki. You never stood a chance at winning this battle. Now let's see you try and escape this one. No go. I am not dodging it. If you're going to use a hundred percent of your power, then I am too. Total power. What's he gonna do this time? Now Sacred weapon, mash. <sighs> I'm impressed, Kosuke. He really did gain two stars, and in less than a single day. down he's just been beaten what are you talking about by who Ueki who else <sighs> Don tried to finish him off but Ueki turned it around and hmm? that 
that troublemaker still alive? The Roberts 10, Marco Maldini, hobby cooking and growing vegetables. He insulted my cooking when he wasted my soup. Whoops. Now I'm the one being clumsy. He's nearby. How unfortunate for him. Marco, he'll pay for this. No one insults Marco Maldini's creations. Hmm. It's Rinko Gerard, may I? Yes, of course. Hello, Rinko. What brings you here, I wonder? <gasps> I've got news. I'm afraid Don was beaten by Ueki. Now Marco's gone out to fight him. I see. I expected as much. If Marco uses his full power, there's a good chance the surrounding area will be completely destroyed. Your point is? <gasps> it's just that Alessio and Don are out there, so they're in danger. It doesn't matter what happens to them at this point, right? After all, they did lose to Ueki. Uh... Now that they've lost their powers, they're useless. So they're not part of the Roberts Ten. They're not one of us. Uh... Face it, we're not doing ourselves any favors by worrying about outsiders. You know what? There's one person I trust more than any other. Look at me. <gasps> and that's you. If you catch word of anything, come and tell me about it. No matter how small. Yes, I will. Robert trusts only me. I love him so much. Even if it is one-sided. I want him to trust me more than he already does. And to be near him always. I'll do whatever it takes to make that happen. <laughs> Hey, Kosuke, stop it! You can't do it! Uh, uh, <laughs> See? What did I tell ya? You? you fought off two power users in a row, and you stuck out those long tests in the Awakening Chamber to boot! I don't care if you are a Celestial, you need to get at least three days rest! If you head back to their hideout in your condition, you'll be ganged up on! I guarantee it! Uh, uh, hey, Tenko. I'm never going to do anything that makes it look like I'm trying to run away from them. Not happening. Kosuke! What was that? Magma? Come on out. I know you're hiding in here. Power to change tomatoes into magma! for the crime of wasting my soup is great. Ueki. Look! Not good. Robert's gonna notice, like. Yeah. Jeez, is it gonna torch the whole place? <sighs> Hang on, I got an idea. Yeah? I'm all ears. Kurogane! <laughs> Right over here! Huh? Ah, oh, great! If you keep pulling stuff like that, he'll find out where we are! That's the whole point. Huh? It'll be okay. Huh? I don't want this forest to get any more burned. Kosuke. So this is where you are. Huh? You must be very confident. Either that or a fool. <clears throat> I figured it'd be even more foolish to turn my back on the Roberts Ten. I'm not interested. I've got a special dish to serve up. You've got no choice but to fight him. From what I can tell, he's a four-star too. You're an even match. You can win this. Right. Cool got it. <laughs> Someone got me from behind. Let me help you take care of him, Marco. 
The Robert's Ten, Rinko Gerard, likes Robert Hayden. Rinko Gerard, but... I have to do this, because I love Robert. She'll pay me if I pretend to be her bud. Lucky you! Do you want to come along with me? Robert led me out of the darkness. And I'll do anything to gain his trust. Power! <laughs> uh. To change beads into bombs. Uh. 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 I don't believe it! She's a four-star too! I'm sure that I can defeat him on my own. But I suppose it would be easier with the two of us. Uh, uh, huh. Power to change tomatoes into mac- Look out! Uh, Power to change beads huh? into bombs! Uh, uh, Power to change trash into trees! Those two were still around here. Your buddies are gonna wind up getting hurt. Stop attacking and save them. Don't be ridiculous. This is the perfect opportunity for revenge. Why would I possibly want to give up my chance of defeating you? Because they're your friends, right? They were my friends. Uh. Those washouts are powerless. They're of no value to us anymore. You think I care about them? Uh. Power to change tomatoes into magma! Ah, power to change trash into trees! Ah. Rinko, use your bombs to blow up that barrier. Then Ueki will be finished once and for all. You mean it? Don and Alessio are below, and if I were to blow up that tree barrier, they'd be... Ah, uh, it's hot. Ah, I can't take it! Ah, uh, they're regular people now that they have no powers. So you might lose some of your talents if you hurt them. There's no danger of that as long as they don't take a direct hit from me. I don't care what happens to people defeated by the likes of Ueki. Oh, Robert said almost the same thing. But still... They're completely useless to us now! <laughs> They're useless? Uh. Rinko, hi! Come and play with us! Huh? We want to hang with you, Rinko! <laughs> I thought I was one of their friends. <laughs> Your family's rich, right? Pay the tab for us, okay? We're sure lucky you're our pal. Yeah? I thought I was their friend. Linko, I want one of these. Fork over some cash. Buy one for me too, okay? I can't. Mom says I have to save my money, not waste it. Ah! <sighs> I'm sorry, honest, but we're still friends, aren't we? Us friends? Give me a break. You're no use to us if you're not going to be footing the bill anymore. Oh, and Newsflash, you never were our friend. No! You can't! <sighs> That's when I learned that people judge others according to how useful they are to them. <laughs> That's so true. How about you join me? We'll obliterate the world and everyone in it. Huh? <gasps> Power to change tomatoes into magma! Hold 
himself for others. It can't be. Grinko, now's your chance. Aim for his back before he gets away. I'm on it. I don't believe in people except for Robert. You're not deceiving anyone. You're only pretending to save your enemy because you want to save yourself. Uh, enemy? These are people begging to be saved! They don't have allies or enemies! Why does everyone only think about themselves? Why? He's lying! He's just trying to trick me! That fool! He could have escaped if he was alone! I'll take you out and those two losers! <gasps> with your bead bombs? Rinko, you traitor! I'm calling a ceasefire. I can't do what you're asking and sacrifice my old partners just because they've lost their powers. I'm not that heartless. Don and Alessio were both on our side, so I'll save them myself if he won't. Uh, uh. Hey, you must have hurt your ankle in that explosion. Leave me alone. It was practically suicidal of me to use my bombs at such close range, but I can't very well ask my opponent to help me out. No go. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm taking all of you out of here. Huh? Darn it. He's gonna get away from me. And now that she switched sides, they have the combined power to defeat me in a fight. You're being totally reckless. You think you can walk across land that's been heated by magma while carrying three people on your shoulders? I'm saving all three of them, no matter what you say. Wacky. Rinko Gerard! <gasps> I guess you don't mind me reporting to Robert about what's happened here. Huh? Not only have you tried to save these power losers, but you saved Ueki. I sincerely doubt Robert will forgive you for that. <sighs> You want to go back? Back to that lonely life of yours? Without even one true friend? <sighs> Finish Ueki off by yourself! If you can do that, I promise not to tell Robert about your betrayal! <sighs> you want to be abandoned by Robert? waiting for this moment when his attention shifted away from me. Power to change tomatoes? 
I'm watching you. Into... <gasps> He should have been concentrating on Rinko's attack and not me. There's no reason why she would attack me. I trusted her. <gasps> I believed her. <gasps> Marco, there are one too many cooks in the kitchen. Ha! You think I'd lose to an amateur who fights while trying to save others? Come on, give me a little credit because you are out of here. Robert's 10, Marco Maldini, retired. Hey, why didn't you think I was really going to attack you? You gotta ask? It's simple, because we're friends now. Rinko betrayed the Roberts 10. Now Ogre and Becky are steaming mad and have it in for you, Ueki. Which gets me to thinking, Ogre, are you sure you're a junior high student? Next episode, The Law of Neo, the new Celestial. Power up completed! <laughs> 